and girls, and welcome to another episode of Comic from the Can. Well, this episode is going to be uh, sponsored by Space Cadets Collection Collections, who gave me their Ashcan copy of this book. And for those of y'all who don't know what Ashcan copies are, they're usually a smaller size comic that are given out to the um, comic stores to read as a promotional item to get them interested in it so they could tell their uh, clientele and customers about it. And let's see what we have today. We have the Ashcan copy of American Gods, written by Neil Gaiman. And I recently found out that this is going to be a TV series on, original series on stars on cable. So, if you have stars, check it out. Until then, get to your nearest comic shop and find you a copy of American Gods when it comes out. Maybe it'll tell us when it comes out at the back of this. So, without any further ado-do, let me lower my reading testicles and let's get into this. American Gods. A month before he was due to be released, Shadow sat in a chilly office. Furnace don't go on until December the 1st. I don't make the rules. You're 32 years old. Yes, sir. You look younger. Clean living. Says here you've been a model inmate. I learned my lesson, sir. Did you? Did you really? Says here, you got a wife. How's everything there? Pretty good. She's got kind of a mad at me when I was arrested. But she's come down to see me as much as she could. I call her when I can. What does your wife do? She's a travel agent. How did you meet? She was my buddy's wife, best friend. It was a blind date. We hit it off. And you've got a job waiting for you? Yes, sir. My buddy, Robbie, the one I just told you about, he owns the muscle farm, the place I used to train. He says, my old job is waiting for me. Really? Mm. How do you feel about your offense? I was stupid. How are you getting home from here, Greyhound? Flying home. It's good to have a wife who's a travel agent. She sent you a ticket? Didn't need to. Just sent me a confirmation number and all I have to do is turn up at the airport in a month and show them my ID. I'm out of here. Mm. You're, you're lucky you have someone to go back to got a job waiting you got a second chance make the most of it <sighs> the man did not offer to shake Shadow's hand as he rose to leave nor did Shadow expect him to in some ways the last week was worse than the whole three years put together, Shadow had the jitters and the heebie-jeebies, a feeling deep in his stomach that something was entirely wrong. He called his wife Collect. Something feels weird. Maybe it's the weather like a storm coming. It's nice here. Last, the leaves haven't quite fallen. If we don't get you, if we don't get a storm, you'll be able to see me when you get home. Five days. 120 hours. And there's the artwork. The artwork's not terrible. The cover art and the back page art's pretty nice, but inside's a little less than what you'd see on the cover, but still not bad. Everything okay? Nothing wrong? Everything's fine. 
I'm seeing Robbie tonight. We're planning your surprise welcome home party. Surprise party? Of course. You don't know anything about it, do you? That's my husband. Not a thing. Shadow realized he was smiling. He had been inside for three years, but she could still make him smile. Love you, babes. I love you, puppy. We gotta talk, hmm? Storm's on the way. Feels like it may be. It'll snow soon. Not that kind of storm. Bigger storms than that coming. I tell you, boy, you're better off in here than out on the street when the big storm comes. Done my time. Friday, I'm gone. Eagle Point, Indian. I'm sorry, Eagle Point, Indiana. Like I said, big storm coming. It's like, what do they call those things? Contingents ride around on? The continents ride around on. Tectonic plates? That's it, tectonic plates. It's like when they go riding, when North America goes skidding into South America, you don't want to be in the middle. You dig me? Not even a little. Hell, don't say I didn't warn you. Shadow spent the night half awake, drifting in and out of sleep, letting the empty minutes wash over him, lonely and slow. Two days to go, starting with prison coffee and a guard named Wilson. Shadow, this way. Shadow checked his conscience in, was quiet, which did not. He had observed in prison, meant that he was not in deep shit. The bad thing is happening. And there you have that. Some of the artwork's better than others, but uh, I don't get you, Shadow. You're too fucking quiet, like one of them old guys. And you're, what, 25? 32, sir. And what are you? A spick? A gypsy? Not that I know of, sir. Maybe. Maybe you got nigger blood in you. You got nigger blood in you, Shadow? Could be, sir. Shadow looked straight ahead and concentrated on not allowing himself to be robbed by the man. Yeah, well, all I know is you're fucking spook me. You leaving us soon. Hope so, sir. If I had my way, we'd drop you in a hole and forget about you. Shadow said nothing. Speak when spoken to. Do your time, get out. Get home. Have a long hot bath. Tell Laura you love her. Rebuild a life. Come in. Please sit down. It says here you were sentenced to six years for aggravated assault and battery. You served three years. You were due to be released on Friday. Were? Yes, sir. Shadow, you'll be getting out a couple of days early. This came from the Johnson Memorial Hospital in Eagle Point. Your wife. She died in early hours of this morning. It was an automobile accident. I'm sorry. So homeboy's been locked up for three years. He was about to get out, go see his wife, and now he finds out she's dead. She's dead on her behind. So then the guards escort him back through to his cell. 
It's like one of those good news, bad news jokes, isn't it? Good news, we're letting you out early. Bad news, ha, huh, clunk, your wife is dead. Then he's showing, prison bus showing up, and then he's sitting on it. Shadow sat on the bus and shivered until the heater started working, wondering what he was doing here. He was going now. Shit, there's pussy out there. Shadow swallowed it. it occurred to him that he had not cried yet. Had in fact felt nothing at all. No tears, no sorrow, nothing. Bus station, everybody out. Then Shadow was stumbling through the bright lit airport terminal, worried about the whole e-ticket business. He liked things he could hold and touch home. And he had a certainly that once he got home, everything would be right once more. Laura would be fine. Again, perhaps it was a simple mix-up. Some other Laura Moon's body had been dragged from the highway wreckage. A tired woman stared at him. May I help you? I've got an e-ticket number for Friday, but I have to go today. There was a death in the family. No problem. I've put you on the 3.30... It may be delayed because of the storm. It was not a big airport, but the number of people just wandering amazed him. He watched people put down bags casually, observed wallets stuffed in back pockets, purses put down, unwatched, under chairs. That was when he realized. I'm no longer in prison. 30 minutes to wait until boarding. He called Robbie at the muscle farm, but the machine answered. Hey, Robbie, they tell me that Laura's dead. They let me out early. I'm coming home. Then because people make mistakes, he called home and listened to Laura's voice. Hi. I'm not here, or I can't come to the phone. Leave a message, and I'll get back to you. Have a good day. He held his bag so tight, he hurt his hand. He was thinking about the first time he had ever seen Laurel. He had been sitting in a booth at Chi Chi's when she had walked in behind Audrey Burton. Shadow had him had found himself staring. She had eyes so blue he mistakenly thought she was wearing tinted contact lenses. She had ordered a strawberry daiquiri and insisted that Shadow taste it. Laura loved people to taste what she tasted. He had kissed her goodnight that night, and she had tasted of strawberry daiquiris, and he had never wanted to kiss anyone else again. A woman announced his plane was boarding. As the plane took off, he fell asleep. Shadow was in a dark place. Changes are coming. There's certainly decisions to be made. Where, where am I? In the, in the earth and under the earth, you are where the forgotten wait. If you are to survive, you must believe. Believe what? What should I believe? Everything! 
Then he dozed once more and dreamed he was back in prison. Someone has put on a contract on your life, but Shadow could not find out who or why. And when he woke up, they were coming in for a landing. <clears throat> he stumbled off the plane, blinking and walking. All airports he had decided looked very much the same. This airport looked like an airport. The trouble is, this wasn't the airport he was going to. This was a big airport with way too many people. Excuse me, ma'am. What airport is this? St. Louis. I thought this plane was a plane to Eagle Point. It was. They redirected it here because of the storm. Didn't they make the announcement? I fell asleep. You need to talk to that man over there. Gate 47. It's on the far side of the terminal. You need a run. Run! The doors were already closed when he got to the gate. He watched the plane pull away from the gate. He explained his problem to the gate attendant. She sent him to the passenger's assistance desk. Passenger assistance consulted with another woman. No, nope, that one's out. They just canceled it. Wait, here we go. This will get you there. We'll call ahead to the gate. Go. Shadow felt like a pea being flicked between three cups. We've been waiting for you. 17D. So he fell asleep on the plane, didn't hear that they were having a changeover, woke up in a different city. Now he's shuffling around trying to get on a plane to get home. And well, that's obviously it. So we don't know what's going to happen. In the back of it, it's got um, the title, who's the artist, the letter, the cover art, and then it says... American Gods. Shadow Moon <coughs> just got out of jail only to discover his wife is dead. Defeated, broke, and uncertain where to go from here. He meets the mysterious Mr. Wednesday who employs him to serve as his bodyguard. Thrusting Shadow into a deadly world of the supernatural where ghosts of the past come back from the dead and a brewing war between old and new gods hits a boiling point. And then I don't know if that's going to be the cover to the number one or not. And then they show other works that uh, Neil Gaiman has done. And then there's the back cover. So it seems pretty interesting. I definitely appreciate the free ash can that was donated by Space Cadets Collection Collection. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, guys. I'm proud to uh, review that for you here on Comics from the Can. So, if y'all found it that interesting, wait until it comes out. Go check it out. Like I said, later on this year, it's going to be a TV show on Stars. And with that, Guess that's it. Or a flush. Till next time, boys and girls. Enjoy your comic hunting. Enjoy your comic reading. This has been Comics from the Can.